Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a new readiness study from Control Up has given us a couple of interesting details regarding the current state of the Windows market, which also includes how many PCs on average are still yet to upgrade to Windows 11 and how many can't. And what you're looking at here is the countdown to Windows 10 end of life, according to Control Up. 88 days, 10 hours, 12 minutes, 23, 22, 21 seconds. Now, according to Control Up, it says it has conducted an extensive analysis to gauge the current state of Windows 11 readiness in the enterprise landscape. It says it's assessed over 1 million enterprise Windows devices from various industries and regions. So what we are dealing with in this readiness survey is enterprise PCs, not your home user or your consumer editions of Windows. So just keep that in mind. Now, if we just head down to the chart provided, quarterly trend, and here we are looking at the second quarter of 2025. Yeah, we can see this puts things very in line with Stat Counter, as I posted earlier this month. I'll leave that video linked where Windows 10 and Windows 11 are neck and neck when it comes to, well, for Stat Counter, that would be market share, but for this, this would be the actual migration completed and not on Windows 11. Very much in line with what we got with Stat Counter. So, moving down to these little part charts. Windows 11 migration, basically it's a 50-50, so it's putting us in line with this chart. 50% completed, 50% not on Windows 11. And here we can see that according to Control Up, 87% of the PCs that are yet to be upgraded are ready to do so, with 13% needing to be replaced. So that means that these 87% of PCs are compatible with Windows 11. 13% obviously aren't. And then just moving down, here we get some interesting stats. Completed Windows 11 migration. And here we can see some interesting stats where healthcare is the furthest behind, 59%. And I think that could make sense because obviously healthcare is where you don't want the most disruption. And then the next would be finance, 55% not on Windows 11 that haven't completed the migration. And then we get to consumer, 50%, 49%. And then the one that has completed the migration the most, the, the sector is technology, 73%, which I think makes sense, being in the technology field. And then moving down to the next, out of those not on Windows 11, ready for Windows 11 migration. Obviously, these are ready for Windows 11 migration, meeting the hardware requirements. And it's interesting to see that finance, 97% are ready for Windows 11 migration, but haven't done so. And then moving down to this section, these are the devices that need to be replaced. So Control Up says that around 24% of business and 25% of consumer devices running Windows 10 will likely need to be replaced to avoid Windows 10's end of support, which is coming on the 14th of October this year. And obviously these PCs are not eligible for Windows 11 and will need to be replaced to upgrade. So as mentioned before, quite a lot of e-waste is going to be generated if you look at all those different categories. And then if we head down to this, this is by region. This is interesting. Here we can see in North America, 57% of PCs still need to upgrade to Windows 11. And if we compare that number with Europe, that is 30% compared to 30% in Europe which means that in Europe, they are ahead 
with migrating from Windows 10 to Windows 11, interestingly enough. So I thought this was interesting. And I'll leave this linked in the description if you'd like some more info. And I think, though, that the writing is on the wall, so to speak, that there are still going to be millions of PCs that are still going to be running Windows 10 when it reaches end of life in October this year. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.